two, I wanted to share with you a, a, a this just surprising geeky science. I, I think it's absolutely fascinating. There is a, a new book out about sleep. It's called Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker, Dr. Matthew Walker, PhD, Unlocking the Power of Sleep and Dreams. And he, he points out in his book and, and, you know, in his TED Talk, his little two-minute TED Talk, that uh, when you fall asleep and start dreaming, you're actually doing really important work. He says uh, dreams act as a form of overnight therapy. Um, in fact, your dreams may even boost your ability to solve problems and process tough emotions that affect your waking life. And I think this is absolutely fascinating. One of the things that I learned when I studied uh, neuro-linguistic programming is that the way that we store memories is essentially as if the, the mind was a giant hologram that kind of surrounds us. And we put things in physical places. Like if you ask somebody, what color is the kitchen floor in your house? They, their eyes will move. They will not look you in the eye as they answer. Be, be, be immediately before they answer, they will like look up to the right or look up to the left or look down. Somewhere they will find a memory of the color of their kitchen floor. Similarly, if you ask somebody, uh, remember the last time that somebody insulted you, they will look someplace else. You know, the kitchen floor may be over here and the insult may be over here. And it might be 10 feet away or it might be six inches away. It might be in bright, vivid color, or it might be in black and white. And this understanding that we store memory actually in physical places, I mean, they're not literally physical, they're, they're kind of metaphysical places, but that we store memory in these places has informed a whole science of therapy for trauma called EMDR. Emotional, uh, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on the, what the EMDR stands for, but um, basically what, what you do with EMDR is while a person is reliving a terrible experience, you have them move their eyes from side to side following you know, somebody's finger or following a light or whatever it may be. And the, what this does is it allows the mind to say, okay, here's, Here's a memory that I don't like, and it's stored in the place of, ouch, ouch, ouch. And I'm going to move it over here to the place of, okay, that happened to me a long time ago, and I'm over it. Because we actually have those kinds of places. And EMDR allows that to happen. Well, apparently, so does REM sleep. And that's the point of this guy in his, in his uh, book, Why We Sleep, and our geeky science for the day, that REM sleep, if you watch somebody's eyes when they're sleeping, when they're in REM sleep, rapid eye motion sleep, their eyes are like moving all over the place. And the theory, or one of the theories now, is that what's happening is the brain is taking the, the day's experience and sorting it and figuring out what, what to keep and what not to keep and the stuff that gets kept, where to put it. That's number one. The other thing about sleep is that he, he, in his studies, he found that when people think about problems before they fall asleep, they very often wake up with the solution. Thomas Edison was famous for this. I've done this my whole entire life. Before I'll go to sleep, I'll present a question to myself. I need to know what the focus of tomorrow, uh, that chapter that I'm gonna work on in that book tomorrow will be. Or I need to figure out a way to, to do something, you know, whatever it may be. And I'll just ask myself that before I go to sleep and say, would you please let me know when you wake, when I wake up, what the answer is. And literally when I wake up, probably five times out of seven or eight, the answer is right there as I wake up. Powerful stuff. Anyhow, the book is Why We Sleep, Unlocking the Power of Sleep and Dreams by Matthew Walker. And my book on the whole EMDR thing is called Walking Your Blues Away. I wrote a whole book about this that if you're fascinated by that idea of, you know, memories being in places and you can change the place and change the meaning of the memory, uh, check out Walking Your Dreams or Walking Your Blues Away.